You finally found him. After hours of searching. No. Sweeps of searching. Carcat, troll this worthless human. <laughs> Attention, worthless human. This is your god speaking. It is a wrathful god who despises you more than you could have possibly dared to fear. I have watched your entire pathetic life unfold. I have observed you while you would quake and tremble in personal prayers of shame. While you pleaded forgiveness for being such a wretched, disgusting failure on every conceivable level. Prostrate before the stupid and false clown gods you have scribbled on the walls of your block. Bogus deities worshipped by a primitive paradise planet. But your prayers will not be answered. There are no miracles in store for you, human. Only my hate. It is a hate so pure and hot, it would consume your sad, underdeveloped human think pan to even contemplate. It is a hate that to fathom must be put in the song, shrieked by the 10,000 rowdy shop sphincters, peppering the gruesome underbelly of the most truculent god the furthest ring can muster. It is a hate that made you and will surely destroy you. My hate is the lifeblood that pulses through the veins of your universe. It is my gift to you. You're welcome for that, you ungrateful piece of shit. Hi, Carcat. What? How do you know my name? Oh man, this is it, isn't it? I've been looking forward to this. What is it? Me hating you is what's it. If that's what you mean, yeah, bingo. No, I mean, this is the first conversation between us. From your perspective, right? Yeah. Are you suggesting we've spoken before? Yeah, lots of times, actually. I should introduce myself properly. Hi, Carcat. I'm John. John? Why would I give a pungent, whipping lump squirt what your name is? Because we're buddies. I admit, I am new to human social constructs, but I refuse to believe our relationship can or will ever be described as Earth human buddies? Yup, we totally are. We just became Earth human buddies in kind of a weird way. You decide to keep talking to me backwards through my adventure, and then when you're done with that, you come back and talk to me more recently in my timeline for a while. You talk to my friends a whole bunch too. You and your Alternian troll buddies helped me and my Earth human buddies hatch a plan, which we are busy putting in motion right now, as you can see. These are lies! I know when I'm being trolled! Who do you even think you are talking to here? I am your god, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know. Why would I troll you backwards? That doesn't make any fucking sense! And why would I help you and your idiot friends? I would just help you blunder down the path that ends with you opening the rift like a bunch of morons! You mean the scratch? Whatever. Yes, that's the plan. You yourself said it was the only hope now. Ridiculous! I didn't wriggle out of a puddle of slime yesterday. That was several weeks ago, okay? <laughs> I do not think you appreciate the gravity of my antipathy, John Human. Egbert. Okay, human Egbert, I fucking loathe you, and I have tuned into your channel moments before the eradication of your timeline and that smug look on your face, with just enough time for me to basically completely fucking destroy you with hostile rhetoric. There is no chance I will ever help you. You can't possibly understand how much I hate you or why I hate you. I wasn't joking when I said that I was your god. Like, that wasn't a lot of bravado and useless pissing around. I am literally responsible for your existence. We beat the game you are playing and created your universe. We were going to enter your universe and roll over it. Like tyrants. It was to be our plaything, John. You have no idea how sweet it was going to be. But then we couldn't claim our prize because of that monstrosity you sprung on us. Man, I know. None of this is news to me, Carcat, but to be quite honest, it doesn't sound like your intentions were all that great. Wanting to be tyrants and all. Maybe you got what you deserved, you stupid fuckass. Stupid? Wow. Your species really is brain dead. Eh, it's an in joke, never mind. Anyway, hey! I thought this was supposed to be the conversation where you do all the amazing trolling. Come on, bro, flame me! I've been really excited about this. You actually want me to troll you? I mean, don't worry, I can and I will, 
I knew it would be a goddamn bloodbath when I get started. It's just kind of weird that you're excited about it. Is that normal for your race? Um, I don't know, probably not. I just think it's kind of funny when you do it. That's really condescending, and it's hard to convey how much more I just got pissed off than I already was. But maybe it makes sense, actually, that you welcomed my acrimony so readily. On account of probably some weird gland humans have, like a punishment throbber or some silly sounding thing like that. It might mean that I'm right about you. Right about what? I mean, that it seems like we are connected in some way. Don't you think, John? Sort of cosmically. Like, our hate for each other is so strong, it must have been written in the stars. You know, the ones I fucking made for you. <laughs> I don't hate you. How can you possibly claim to have talked to me a lot already and not hate me? See, it doesn't add up. Wait, are you saying that we're kissmo whatevers? What? No! Well, what do you take me for? That would be such a brazen solicitation. It's insulting. I mean, okay, I'm not saying I'm ruling out the idea or anything. Like, if later over time you started really hating me more, like, really got to know me and found out how much there was to hate. Yeah. But in the past, I guess. I'm just saying, who knows what could happen. Or has already happened. Uh, fuck, what am I babbling about? This is fucking ridiculous! We just met for fuck's sake. And it's not like we're ever going to meet in person, so it's all a moot point. So, forget I said anything. God, what is wrong with me? Well, I just didn't really have any idea that you had any sort of feelings like that, so I'm kind of caught off guard. What feelings? There are no feelings. End of discussion. Hey, hey, I don't have a problem with your weird sort of alien hate love thing. It's just that, uh... What? I'm not a homosexual. What the hell is that? It's like when a boy likes another boy, or I guess hates in this case. Humans have a word for that? Yes. How is that even a thing? Eh, shrug. It just is. Human romance sure is weird. I'm just confused by your troll shenanigans. So many shenanigans! Anyway, I kinda got the impression that you and Terezi were a thing. What do you mean, a thing? Like, I don't know, going on weird fight dates and beating the crap out of each other. And being in hate love or love hate. Isn't that how it works? You are such an ignorant moose, I could shit miles of rage snakes to choke you to death. Ew. Who have you been talking to? What have you heard about that? Um, I talked to you and her and some others. I don't know, like like I said, it's just a sense I got. Sorry. Okay, first of all, if there were a thing with her, and that's a huge if. It would be a totally different quadrant than what we were just talking about. Oh god, the quadrants. Second, whether she and I have a thing or don't have a thing, or took a romantic hot air balloon ride suspended in a goddamn filial pail together, it's definitely none of your fucking Earth business, Egbert Human John! Got it? Okay, sheesh. Carcat, I'm gonna be honest, this first conversation is not how I thought it would be at all. It's really kind of... awkward. Yeah. Wow, it is. Yeah. Huh. Well, um... Okay, look. Let's just agree never to bring it up again. The, the stuff I was babbling about earlier. Yeah, well, we never really talked about it in the past, so I guess we do agree to that? But if I talk to you again, in your future, limited though it is, you'll remember my embarrassing shit. So I guess... I'll have to troll you backwards? Told you, bro! Ha ha ha! You really are a smug nook whiffer, John Egbert. I think we need to get back on point here, which is addressing the matter of what incomprehensibly putrid garbage you and your friends are and how much I hate you! You mean platonic hate? Shut the fuck up! We aren't talking about that, remember? Oh, yeah. So you wanted to get trolled? Well, you got it! Prepare to get your puny human balls flamed into nuclear hate oblivion! Welcome to the Trollocaust! The painstaking genocide of your fragile self-esteem will be my swan song! Oh boy, it sounds great, but we're out of time. I've gotta go put this plan in motion. Oh, I see! Taking the coward's way out! Scampering off to get annihilated by a deadly rift! How convenient! Well, fine! Sayonara, you worthless crotch-stained barf puppet! I will bid you one first and final fuck you! Fuck you, John Egbert! Fuck you and the fucking joke book you wrote in on! Fuck! Fucking! 
You! Haha, <laughs> see you soon. Wait, what? So Resi, open memo. What do you guys think about Carcat's new plan? To show these kids? Personally, I think he's finally snapped and it doesn't make any sense. I figured we could all talk about it here in secret while he stands over there making his boring inspirational speech. I'm pretty sure he's stopped bothering to invade Party Town. He's learned his lesson. <laughs> Obviously, this is just for us here in the present to remark on. If you are from the past and are curious about this and want to say something, you will not be banned, as it is a general rule here. But I will politely ask you to keep your interjections to a minimum. <laughs> I will have order in this rumpus block. You think I stopped keeping tabs on your vapid, seditious bullshit? Think a fucking again! The topic is now open for argumentation. Her tyranny yields the floor with a mighty bang of her gavel. Bang, bang, bang! Three mighty bangs. What do you have to submit on Karkat's tenuous grip on the tattered remains of his sanity, Counselor Nepeta? The especially impertinent counselor looks really serious and thoughtful as she scoots her chair out from under the official courtry-looking table and begins to pace around Buffery. She doesn't understand why. I don't understand why we are doing this. What was the point again? Excellent question, Miss Pouncelor. Are you fucking retarded? I can plainly see you're going to start writing this memo in five minutes. All I have to do is go make my boring inspirational speech and then walk over to your computer and start fucking with you. Go ahead, ban me all you want. Her tyranny expresses disdainful yet authoritative interest in other opinions on the stupidest plan ever conceived. Any thoughts? I don't see why Carcat has to always be banned from these memos. What if he promises to behave himself? We've been over this. What if I talked to him in the past and told him he could post here as long as he wasn't particularly disagreeable? That's a good idea, BRB. Oh, God. Thank you, Nepeta, for alerting me to the presence of yet more of this tawdry, roleplay-infested cloak-and-dagger rubbish. How very... Interesting. Her tyranny face palms in a really dignified and intimidatingly judicial manner. The distinguished counselor receives a hundred billion rumpus demerits for inviting uncouth rabble into her orderly block. I already told KK what I thought about this awful idea. It just makes no sense. You can count me out. You all control these incompetent aliens all you want. It won't change anything. I'll just be over here waiting to die with dignity. Okay, well, maybe it's too late for that, but just die, I guess. And y'all can suck it, bitches. The magistrate of the Appleberry Judition makes an excellent point about the overall shittiness of the proposition, and about managing to be an even grumpier pain in the ass than our fearless leader somehow. I don't get why you're RPing about this. It doesn't make sense. You're all out of your fucking sponges. Why don't you just use our names? <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Thalak. There, are you happy? Whatever. You bastard! Is it really so much to ask to take a few tools out behind the grub shed? All I'm asking you to do is to hassle some aliens. God, after all those times I saved your life, you think you could do me one little solid? Yeah, after you got me killed in the first place. How can you throw that in my face again? I thought we were cool! I said whatever. Uh. I will not be participating. Oh my god, what are we going to do now? That's it guys, the plan is cancelled. Aradia isn't going to mope with these losers for us. The whole plan hinged on that! I still don't quite understand the plan either. I mean, I don't really mind talking to them. It could be fun, and they look interesting. But I really don't think this is all their fault. Can't we say nice things to them instead of troll them? Maybe even help them? No, fuck! You can't be nice to them! You are completely missing the gloving point, fish princess! 
Hey, Terezi, I'm about to make this awesome speech and inspire the fuck out of you guys. When I'm done, I'm coming over to your station and then your ass is mine. Enjoy this garbage dump of a memo while it lasts. Blarr! This is why we can't have nice things. I am tempted to close this memo now. If anyone has anything to say, say it quick. Not you. Yeah, I'm not following this motherfucking plan up at all. Who are we trolling? Gamzy, this conversation is taking place weeks in the future. It does not concern you. Oh, well, motherfuck, I guess. Don't worry about it. Just scroll around and look for one of the RRPT open chat memos. Okay, honk. Look at Whoa. Carcat is mashing my keyboards. He is such a little. Fuck. Oh, now what's up? God damn it, he logged onto my computer. And he's still mashing me. Get off! Why are you banning yourself, Terezi? Pretty fucking mental if you ask me. Really fucked up if you... to sharpen your stupid looking nubby horns in your sleep. Then, that is what will be up. Bye bye, nubs. Why don't you just file them all the way down? Since you're running out of ways to emasculate me in front of my team. Will you give your boring leader complex a rest for once? It's getting so old. <laughs> you are both ridiculous. Hey, Briska. You're down with my trolling plan. Why don't you tell everyone in Rainbow Ass Grab Junction what a great idea it is? I'm busy. What the fuck could you be busy with? I'm making my own plans. I'm a pretty big deal, remember, Carcat? It looks like you forgot how many irons she has in the fire. Exactly. What is so hard about going along with my simple plan to serve a few pink skin douchebags a piping hot nutrition plateau full of fuck you? Maybe we will, but we all just kind of want to do our own thing. There is a word for that. It's called gross insubordination. That's two words, retard. Do you guys realize you are sharing a keyboard and taking turns to argue with each other? That's kind of cute. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it really sort of is. Okay, fuck this. Everyone is officially banned from this train wreck. <laughs> from my own memo. Whoops. You can't ban me from my own memo. Looks like I just did. My oh, shit. Looks like I just did. Fine. I will just shut the memo down so you will get the hell out of here. Fine. I'm gone. Ugh. Hey. Oh, hey. I just thought I would add one last remark to this silliness. A mark of reassurance. Oh? Yes. You should troll the humans. It will be fun. Well, we both know I was planning to anyway. Of course, I trust your judgment on the matter. Just here to say you won't regret it. That's nice to know. I trust your judgment as well. Yes, another triumph of sound judgment and good times for Team Pyrope and the loyal subscribers of Rainbow Rumpus Party Town. Hooray! I'm going to be fucking sick. Hey John, land already. Briska, manipulate this worthless human. It is no use. It seems your abilities cannot cross between sessions. 
or cannot influence his species, or both. Or maybe you just aren't trying hard enough. You wonder what this goofball is dreaming about. Too bad these stupid viewports can't see into dreams. This software sucks. John, reunite with your loving father. And also Scarf Lady. Huh. Briska, try harder. Now, John, answer troll. John! Wake up! <laughs> I'm pronouncing that like a really long June. That is so many O's. It is eight groups of eight. I specifically counted them. It's sort of a thing I do. You type my name in 64-bit. Wow, what a nerd. Have I talked to you before? Um, possibly. This is the first time I have contacted you that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure I remember you. You hassled me a long time ago. I think you threatened to kill me at some point. John, give me a break! That was obviously just my way of getting to know you. Or it will be whenever I get around to it. Well, yeah, I know about you guys by now. But also, I think it's probably not exactly an empty threat. Since when you already managed to trick me into getting myself killed. Well, in another timeline at least. Man, that was probably Terezi. I should have known she would pull something like that. What a meddler. Terezi? Yes, the pesky blind troll who licks her monitor and smells words and stuff. The one who got you killed. I'm sure of it. Huh, it never really occurred to me to ask what your names are. Kinda rude of me, what's yours? Marquise Spinneret Mindfang. Man, that sounds so made up. But if you say so, Marquise. Spinneret. Marquise is a title, stupid. Oh, okay. And you don't have to worry about me manipulating you to your death. It is completely beneath me. Unlike her, I plan on taking the high road. You see, John, you and I actually have some things in common. But you couldn't possibly understand why yet. So, I'm planning on helping you. Okay, I'll be sure to let my guard down. Psych! Oh damn, that was nine. Yeah! Shit, never mind. <laughs> anyway, nice meeting you, Spinneret. If you don't mind, I'd like to try to go back to sleep. I was dreaming about something important. You can't sleep now, John. What about Jade? Oh god, I forgot! Poor Jade. I hope she's alright. She's fine. I can see her right now. But she will not be for long if you don't get her into your session. Yeah, you're right. I have to hurry and go save her. See ya! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're going to go? You don't even have your copy of the game yet! Oh, yeah, duh, stupid, stupid, dumb! Do you know where I'm supposed to get it? Easy. Just wait around for a few minutes. Hmm, okay. See, John? You need me to advance. Even though you were going to do this stuff anyway, it turns out I am the reason you were going to do it anyway in the first place. Your timeline is my web, and suddenly you are all tangled up in it, wriggling and helpless. Isn't that cool? Meh. So you seem to like eights a whole bunch, and I guess you're, like, kind of spidery themed or something? Yeah. <laughs> Spiders are gross. Fuck you! John, wait around for a few minutes. Oh, you got a server copy of the Spur Beta! Yeah! Oh, Jade. Land already. Well, 
Why would Vagabond survey casualties? Everyone is dead. Everyone except you. Your rag of souls begins to soak in the blood of the fallen. You suppose it could be poetic? No. Instead, you think it is just sad. You were very foolish to believe that you could be a leader of men. Look at what bearing that flag has wrought. Perhaps one day you will find something new to bear. A burden befitting of the peasant you truly are. Oh my! What's that shiny thing in the water?